Rachel. Welcome to Slow Fashion Mom. Today I will be showing you my accessories collection. I definitely have a very minimal amount of accessories, but the amount seems to work for me and my current wardrobe. I've never been much of a jewelry person and I find even more so after having kids, it's kind of a hassle to me to have a lot of jewelry and stuff on. So I keep it minimal, that works for me. And I do think if you have a capsule wardrobe or a minimal wardrobe, definitely the easiest way to switch up different looks and keep it fresh is by adding in different accessories. The amount that works for me may not work for the next person. I think probably this is a very personal thing. You need to do what works with you and your wardrobe. Okay, so to start with, I have three belts. I've got this brown woven one that I usually wear uh, in spring, summer. And then I've got just a basic black leather belt. Both of those were thrifted. And then I have just a little skinny pleather belt that I use sometimes for dressier occasions. I also have a couple scarves. And again, I usually only wear these in spring, summer, fall. So I've got this purpley one. And then a bluish one. And they're both just light cotton scarves. I thrifted the purple one and this one I got years ago when Target first came to Canada. So as I said before, I'm not a big jewelry person, but I do love scarves. And I picked up this accessory very recently at the One of a Kind show in Toronto. It was made here locally and it is this thing <laughs> it's called a neck knot and it's basically a bunch of different tubes of stretchy fabric all sewn together this is amazing because you can wear it so many different ways either as a scarf or a statement necklace and you just need to be creative there's um, so many different ways to kind of twist up the fabric and make different looks with it so I'm in love with this. I think it's such a great idea. It's so versatile and definitely if you want to have minimal wardrobe, this is one of those really great things that can be worn a million ways. If you have seen any of my wardrobe videos, you will have seen this statement necklace. It's really the only kind of dressy necklace I own. It was a cheap piece from a fast fashion retailer, but you know, it's silver, it goes with everything. And in terms of handbags and purses, I just have one. Um, being a mom of two kids, my youngest just turned two, so I've kind of been carrying a diaper bag for years. Maybe a year, a year and a half ago, I thought it was time to have a grown up purse again. <laughs> So I did a lot of research on what would be the best. I wanted like a small purse that I can wear when I'm going out alone without kids. Something that can be worn crossbody and over the shoulder. And my usual go-to color would be black, but I really wanted to choose something that could be worn year round. So I did a lot of research on color and I was thinking I would look for a gray purse. I couldn't really find what I liked. And then I saw somewhere online olive green or army green is a good neutral which is something I would have never thought of before and it's definitely a color I don't wear but it does go with everything in my wardrobe and I can easily wear it year round so I have this purse just a simple it's leather it's from Cole Haan which is definitely not an ethical or sustainable company but it's a quality piece that will last me for years and years it's a great size for my wallet my phone some makeup a notebook and a pen the only thing I found that I don't love about this bag is I usually bring a stainless steel water bottle with me and it doesn't fit so I have to carry it separately but other than that I really love it and for earrings, at the moment, I just have two pairs of earrings. I have a pair of silver hoops and a pair of silver knots. My go-to earrings are just a pair of little tiny ball studs, but unfortunately I lost one about a year ago and I haven't replaced them yet. So I will need to replace those one day. That's it for today. Just wanted to share with you my very minimal accessory collection. How about you? Do you have any accessories you can't live without? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear. 
Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I will see you next time. Bye.